Okay, hello everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Adam. You probably recognize me from classes. And today I'm going to talk about reported speech as part of a project. What am I going to do in these videos? Well, I'll break it into three parts. First, there's always going to be an introduction. I'm going to introduce what we're going to learn. So I'll put intro, then we'll practice a bit, practice, and then we'll review. That's going to be our third thing. So review. Okay, so think of it as I P R. That's what we're doing. And it's going to be about 10 minutes. So I hope that you watch these videos and you learn something. And also that this possibly helps you get a better mark on the exam. So Starting out in Unit 7, our big focus is on reported speech, the new grammar. So what is it? How do we use it? And what should we know? But we're also going to see some vocabulary. So we'll go over the new words as well. Don't worry. But let's look at what this is, first of all. So. Reported speech. I'll draw a big arrow, okay? You guys can write notes too if you want, okay? I just dropped the marker. But, what is it? So as part of our intro, I, a good way to explain reported speech is imagine you're someone, okay? So, I'll just draw thick people for the fun of it, okay? And you're talking to this person, okay? But you're not talking directly at each other, okay? So this person, we'll call him Pablo. And this person, Maria, they're not talking directly with each other, okay? They're talking about uh, this girl, okay? They're talking about Fernanda. It's like a gossip. So they're gossiping about this other person here. Okay? So oftentimes, Fernanda, ah, we could just call her Fur, but we'll go Fernanda. Okay, so there is your picture as to what direct speech is, but we're doing reported speech or indirect. So instead of Pablo talking to Maria and Maria talking to Pablo, they're not doing that. Let me write what they're doing in, this is a red marker too. Let me do it in black, okay? So, Maria is talking to Pablo about Fernanda. So, talking to Pablo about Maria. Okay? So, during these situations, he says stuff like, uh, so, Maria said, she ate uh, she ate pizza for breakfast. Okay? So imagine that. Imagine that, if you will. So in the past, Fernanda told Maria that she eats pizza for breakfast. But she didn't know that Maria was going to talk to Pablo and gossip. So this is like gossiping or a reporter. 
you can think of this as a reporter as well. So on TV, you have two people talking about another person, okay? So they're talking about maybe a king or a famous singer. Okay? So who can we say is, is famous? Well, whoever. Maybe they're talking about a doctor, okay? So this guy, they're talking about some important fellow on the news. So they would say, Dr. Fernando said that the virus was stopped or the virus was prevented. He said the virus was. So these are all things where we use the simple past because when the guy actually said it, it was the present, okay? But now it's the past when we're reporting the speech, okay? That's what we're going to focus on right now. The, the regular simple present, but reported, okay? So let me erase some of this. There's a lot here. What could we say? So I'll get you to Imagine, let's keep with the same characters. So, imagine that you are gossiping with each other, okay? So, you, you could also say, Maria uh, said you were annoying, annoying. We all remember this word, right? We say it sometimes, like, que pasao? He's so annoying, okay? But here, we're using reported speech because Maria said, and then were, instead of you are annoying, okay? So when Maria was talking to Fernanda in the past, okay, Fernanda, So this is happening in the past, okay? So, and it's like when the conversation actually occurred. So actually occurred. Hello there. Okay. And here in the reported speech, Maria's talking to someone else about Fernanda. So in our example, said you were annoying. Ah, uh, and maybe Pablo says he doesn't care. So that's reported speech for the present simple, present simple. So we change the present simple to the past simple, okay? Because it's reported. So, she said, he said, you were annoying or you were lazy or you didn't do your homework. This is what Maria said. It's reported speech because Maria is reporting what Fernanda did, okay? So, it can seem confusing, but just remember, a report happens in the future about a past event, okay? So the report might happen at 6 p.m. about an event at 3 p.m., okay? Good thing to remember. So for our review, let's write reported speech reported speech and we'll call it 6 p.m. okay and direct speech speech we'll say this happens at 2 p.m. okay so always reported speech is in the future 
It's about a past event. It's further in the future than direct speech. So Maria said that Fernando or that Pablo or whoever was or were. So instead of is and are, was or were. That's what we're going to do for the simple present, recording it in the simple past because it is a past event that we're reporting. Okay, great. I hope this helped. For homework, maybe you can think of something that happened in the past and you told your parents or you told your mom or a friend and you said, he said or he told me or other stuff when you're gossiping or talking about other people. So think of examples, send them to me, and we'll come back next time. More about reported speech.